This is where we we'll look at UT and some other passing concepts where they're creating rubs against man to man, maybe quarters, things like that. But we'll look at them. And the first one that we're going to look at, we've looked at briefly in their vertical switch video. But what it is, is these guys right here, they're going to run on this side where he's running at the corner, making him go over the top, and then it's just a square in right there by the outside. We'll look at it real quick, but you can see man to man, he's running right at that guy. He sticks it right there about five, six yards, squares it in. That ball's out right there on his body. Good job being accurate, giving him a chance to protect himself and not extend his arm right there. Good catch, getting vertical. Explosive play right there. 15 yards against LSU. Man to man, just a little bit of a rub. We'll look at some more clips of that. It looks like Hyatt might have even been going to the dig right there, so that could have been the second option. So getting a little bit of a rub there, and then you got that dig to beat man to man, create some kind of rubs with in cuts. Same route, same game, but right here, a lot tighter coverage. You can see inside receivers going right there at him. You've got a square in. This time the ball actually gets knocked down at the line of scrimmage. But right there you can see there's the square in. Good coverage right there. Has hands all over him. Really tight. Good coverage there by LSU, but you see what they're doing. And there's that dig from that tight end fullback right there with an end cut as well after trying to get that rub. Right here in a tight end tailback set. So basically a two back set here in a seven man pro. Doesn't get much of a rub right here with this press, but right here they win on that slant or that square end. Against a really good corner, so right there you got time to work. Sticks it right there. He just looks like he's going vertical, possibly going to the dig to create a drive concept. But right there, it creates a little bit of a space right there on that, even without getting much of a rub. Good completion against Georgia's defense and creating supposed to play whenever you miss a tackle. So again, could have been a little bit better rub if, you, if that's really what you're trying to do right here. Understand that's man-to-man, -man, which is obvious man with the way that their eyes are locked on these receivers. So it could have gotten a little bit more rub there. But turning the fade, went on that slant. Again, good ball on his body, not making him reach away. And now he's able to make something happen in open open field, creating an explosive play by making a man miss. So last play, obviously, five was down here tight, and they shook him up a little bit, got to the end, and were able to create space right here. Really want to try to get more of a rub right here on this man-to-man, -man, make him go over the top, which is what they do right here, going right at him. He, this guy right here gets hands-on, doesn't allow him to go and make him really go over the top the way that they would like which obviously you want to adjust. As soon as he tries to go over the top, now you want to try to run at him, try to make him go even further. Uh, but right there, good job getting the hands on there by the defender. And this corner just plays over the top. They're playing off man here instead of press. With that corner, he just flows over the top of this right here. And again, giving it to four. And last time he made a guy miss, this time he gets absolutely stuck and drove. So right there, you can see kind of the difference right there. He's playing off, played over the top of it. As soon as that ball is caught, he's absolutely smacking him. Drive him to the ground. That's the second time they try to run this play. Different result this time, playing off man as opposed to that press man there by number five. Go back to the well here one more time. This time, both guys are playing off man. Looks like they're trying to combo this possibly. Again, trying to get that rub on the corner. As you see, going vertical. You want to go at him. Once he tries to go to the top, now you want to still go at him. You don't want to just be like a robot. As soon as he goes there, now I'm going to run there instead of trying to just fade it. Continue to rub that instead of letting him just get a straight path to your guy ball is high he wanted no part of it because he knows he's going to get absolutely blasted so again anytime you're running in if you're putting that thing above the eyes and not on the body chance for that thing to get tipped up chance for interception all that stuff and obviously being high he's a little extended now you're getting smoked and that doesn't feel good for anybody right against missouri you can see they're going to get a bit of a rub down here to the bottom as he comes off right here you probably want him to go more to the face mask he actually slips this thing, goes vertical, going to that dig, and it allows this corner in the receiver's hip pocket right here. They throw and catch, but it's well short of the sticks, which Missouri will take that all day. Five yards on a third and 10 and, and get off the field. But right here, you can see if this guy would have gone in his face mask, and once you go to his face mask, he's gonna have to go over the top. Once he goes over the top, now you adjust with him to make that hump a little bit bigger. So now that catch has more space. And now if you do that, you have a chance to possibly break attack we get the first down right there on third and ten so right there that rub didn't quite work like i'm sure they were hoping uh, but they got a completion but missouri right there just playing aggressively with that corner in that hip pocket makes it tap makes it tackle short of the line of gain right there i obviously don't think this one's actually a rub right here if it was a rub it'd look a little bit better a little bit more space right there because he's just running like a slot fade and you got that squaring against off man so they throw it they're able to complete it, but obviously there could have been a little bit more space created if he runs right at his face mask, gets him to pause just a little bit or go over the top. Uh, but right there, looks like he's just trying to slot fade with that square in. They get the completion against that obvious man-to-man -man with the wide splits, very obviously staring right there. He's staying right there, there's no help. It's one high look. 
probably be playing a 4-2 cover one. Just get a little bit of a rub right there if you could, would make that a little bit easier to make this corner miss and have a little more space once you catch it. Here's a look here against Akron. Again, running here to the middle of the field, be a viable option. Square in right there. Now, it's two on two. If they decide to switch this thing off, so if he goes square in, he drives that hard. Now you've got another in. It's already out leveraged this defender here if they're trying to switch it off and play a bit of a combo. But right here, you see he goes out. And as soon as that cut is made right there, he sees these guys playing off that ball is getting out. This ball is not accurate. It's high and it's inside. So right here, anytime you have a, a receiver that's extending like that, obviously you say, hey, we would like to catch the ball, but that's extremely difficult for anybody. Understand that there may be a chance to get smoked right there. And eight comes down. They're actually pretty lucky that they get a piece of this ball at the receiver spot, because if not, that thing's gonna hit this corner right in the face and he might score. But right here, they get just enough up. But you can see what they're looking for. If you can put that on his body, now he's got the ball in space on a third and nine with a chance to make a cut, possibly make an explosive play. If they would have comboed that and driven down on that square and, and opened up that space right there, you can see He's out leveraged right there for a square cut because they'd be comboing that right there. But ball's inaccurate, not able to hit it. And I see you can see what they're trying to hit right there underneath and then make somebody miss. And if they combo that off quickly, there's that square in. You can beat that corner in that second level window for a big play as well. Third nine on this rub again, and they're actually gonna go there to the dig. And with a press corner, it's a little bit different. He actually comes off, he's physical to that square in. And again, it's just two on two. Looks like they're probably gonna bring some sort of pressure here on a third and nine. Gotta find a way to get open. So right here, going flat. And if you're watching this outside receiver, does a great job of being physical, create space. Now you're getting the rub. Square in, actually got him to stumble just a little bit. This time ball's a lot more accurate. Puts it on his face. Gives him an opportunity to just follow that and be a big body and get to the end zone, which is what Tennessee does right there. But you can see the difference. And it's that press corner. Got to be physical, still get a rub by that guy. Makes him hesitate a little bit. They don't switch this off or combo it. Good throw and catch and then playing with some momentum, running through somebody's face mask, getting into the end zone. A different kind of rub here against Pitt for Tennessee. And right here, obviously, if you're getting some sort of quarters or off man, you kind of want to rub the guy that's a little bit deeper because it's a little bit easier. So if you can get an inside release, make him go over the top, run an out route, which is what Tennessee does right here, then you can create some kind of space. So right there, you got to fight through contact, even though it looks like they're kind of playing a little bit of zone. This linebacker's trying to get to it. Get a little bit of rub, breaks that out with this guy getting caught up in that vertical by, by four, able to get a completion there to the sideline, get five yards. Not a huge play, but again, it's one of those where you're just getting completions, trying to get in those guys' legs. Continue to play with tempo, a little bit of rub, easy completion right there. That linebacker not getting out quick enough to undercut that out. Same play right here again, you're getting this out, trying to inside release, trying to make sure this safety plays off, goes over top, might get a little piece of this linebacker. But they're play action right at that guy, trying to get him to step in, going out right there. To understand that with that little bit of a play fake, that he may step in for just a little bit and be able to get that out route if that corner chases. So right there, easy throw and catch, getting that linebacker caught up with a little bit of a run fake against that quarter's coverage. And good throw and catch right there for about six, seven, get out of bounds. 